Hey guys, this is Lisa. So many people put up with other people treating them like shit. I know so many girls who put up with guys being total assholes. And actually, I have to admit that even I have put up with some pretty shameful behavior from men in my own relationships. And you know what? It's not even just girls who put up with crap. I know guys who are so whipped by their drama queen girlfriends that it's embarrassing. So I thought in today's video that I would talk to you guys about what I think of as the secret to better, more equal, healthier, happier relationships. So the key to having a high quality relationship is to be clear from the beginning of what you will tolerate and what you won't tolerate. You have to have standards and you have to communicate those standards from the beginning. So for example, girls, if a guy who's clearly attracted to you asks you to come over to his place and you're into him too, but you'd like to explore something more substantial and you're not into one night stands, instead of going because you're afraid of hurting his ego and doing something that you don't really want to, or instead of going and then it being really awkward, you should first just say, hey, I'm flattered, but I don't do one night stands. How about we do brunch next week if you're interested in exploring something with me? And you know, if he says no, then you're done wasting your time with someone who's not going to be able to deliver what you'd like. And if he says yes, then it's great because you've communicated your standards to him. He'll appreciate your confidence and you're just starting on a really high note. So guys, here's an example for you as well. Like if you've just started seeing a girl and she immediately wants to know all your social media passwords and your mobile phone password and insists on like logging in and checking out your message history, you should say no at the beginning and be like, I'm entitled to my privacy and I'm really into you and we've got to trust each other in order to make this relationship work. If you don't trust me, then we shouldn't be together. So I think these examples are actually also interchangeable. Like you could have a girl that's not interested in a serious relationship and you could be a guy looking for commitment or you could have a guy who's really possessive and invasive of your privacy and you have to be then the girl who sets that standard of no, I'm entitled to my space and privacy. I don't mean to subscribe to any gender stereotypes in these examples. I was just telling you what I mean by setting those standards early on to ensure that then your whole relationship follows that course that you've set rather than feeling like you're being taken for a ride by saying okay at the beginning and then never being able to turn back from that. By setting standards and communicating those standards early on, you'll automatically have more meaningful relationships and you'll waste less time on people that aren't right for you. Now in order for this having standards thing to work, you also have to keep two things in mind. One is that you've got to live by your own standards. So if you expect someone to be honest and trust you, you've also got to be honest and trust them. If you don't want them to be mean and manipulative, you should be kind and compassionate as well. So follow the standards that you set if you expect others to follow them. And the second thing is that you should lead by example. Like if you want your partner to be more thoughtful or to be more generous, start by being more thoughtful and generous yourself. Because if you s sort of set the trend they're more likely to follow than if you just sit back and expect them to do everything. So standards and reciprocity, guys, they're the keys to having better relationships. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And of course, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. Till next time, bye.